Hey everyone, QB King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a video showing you how to get free wireless uh, Wi-Fi tethering on your Sprint HCC Evo 4G LTE. Um, prerequisites to this, you're going to need to make sure your device is rooted. Um, you'll see the Super SU in your app drawer right there. So you need to make sure it's rooted. I will link to that video on how to do so in the description. It's actually quite easy. So I will link to it in the description. So be sure to watch that video first. Once you're rooted, you're ready to go. Go to the Play Store and download an app called Wi-Fi Tether. It's called Wi-Fi Tether for root users right here. So download that. Um, it will look like this. You'll see Wi-Fi Tether app right there. Before you start it, what I recommend doing is pressing the menu button, go to settings, and go to change device profile, and change it to generic ICS. It will say auto, but that didn't work for me. You can try it on auto if you want, but uh, what worked for me was generic ICS. I selected it. I hit the back arrow, and then I press to start tethering. It should ask for super user permissions. I'm going to grant it that. And then it'll go ahead and start on up. It'll broadcast a signal for me. Um, so let's go ahead and wait for this to start up. It shouldn't take too long. So there we have it. It says started tethering. So it's definitely tethering now. So let's go ahead and go to our PC. All right, at my PC, I got a new tab open up. Um, I'm not connected to any Wi-Fi. So let's go ahead and you'll see not connected at all. But connections are available. So let's go ahead and click on it. And you will see Android Tether right here. So you'll see Android Tether. That's our phone. So let's go ahead and click on Android Tether and hit connect. So we hit connect to it. We'll go ahead and connect to Android Tether. Our phone will actually vibrate. So um, let's go ahead and bring up our phone here. It, sh it should vibrate. Um, when it does, it basically says Tim PC connected up here. So let's go ahead and zoom in. And right up here, we will see that it says... Um, uh, Wi-Fi tether, AC disabled, access control disabled. We're going to want to enable that. That's what I recommend doing. So you'll see Tim PC. I recommend enabling access control. So it says access control enabled. That way, when someone connects to your network connection, you're going to want to have to. You have to check. Put a check mark next to their uh, next to the PC. You'll see mine says Tim PC. You're going to want to check next to it and hit apply. That way, it'll uh, save it. So you can hit the back arrow, and we're still tethering. Um, that way, next time anyone tries to connect to your network, you need to allow it on the phone. So I highly recommend doing that. But yeah, we are now tethered to our phone. Let's go ahead and load up a page. I'm going to load up acsyndicate.net, of course, one of my favorite sites. So let's go ahead and let it load on up. Um, it is connected to 3G, of course, so it'll take longer than Wi-Fi normally does. But uh, it is loading on up. As you can see, we've got uh, acsyndicate.net loading on up. We are connected to our HTC Evo 4G LTE, tethered to it for free. You don't have to worry about uh, Sprint knowing you're doing so. They just think you're using their data. So no worries there. Um, but other than that, that would be it. That's how you tether. You can, if you do run into any problems at all, can't get it to work, you can try different device profiles. Um, you can try the various ones on there. You can try auto, you can try the HCC devices, you can try all those. So if you do run into any issues there, you can try all those, but that would be it. So that's how to get free Wi-Fi hotspot on your HCC before GLTE for Sprint. Um, that would be it. So be sure to subscribe to me. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.